Away days are back. Look, we're going to South East London today. Bournemouth are playing Crystal Palace. Welcome to the Back of the Net match day vlog. It's a big game for Bournemouth today. We just need one point. And you know what I love about London away days? Well, I'm still in Bournemouth here at 8 o'clock. So catch the train, get off at Waterloo, then overground it into... What? Train strikes. Great, so we're going to be driving. Okay, but we've got our pub of choice and then we're going to gamble on some road parking nearby. Hopefully we get a spot. And then off to Selhurst Park. But the Eagles are flying. In April, they've had a, a really good month and uh, Roy Hodgson has secured their Premier League status. We just need a point. Can we get it? Well, hopefully we can. We need a decent performance because there were parts of the Chelsea performance at home last week that were good parts of it where we just switched off. I don't want us to be on the beach. We probably can be mentally, but let's show that we've got a bit of grit, a bit of steel, and want to finish the season on a high, hey? So, M27, M3, anti-clockwise around the M25, come off towards Croydon, and then we're going to go to the Portland Arms, is it? Portland Arms, have a few drinks, chat to fans, and hopefully have a good day. First time I've been to Selhurst Park, so this should be a good one. Come on, let's go for it. Interrupting the vlog, we've given a delivery That's why I bring How are you, mate? You're right. Yeah, I'm very well. How are you? <laughs> yeah, good. Jordan, Jordan, the better looking Jordan. This is the other Jordan. Hello, mate. You're right. Yeah, you. Good. How was your How was your journey up? Is it all right? Uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. good. Coming uh, handsman. Talk to me about the shirt you're wearing, mate. Pretty in pink. Yeah. Last time we won it. Yeah. Only time we won it, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, we wore pink. Benicophobia winner. So yeah, I thought I'd bring it out today. Ben is chucking into his burger here. Ben, how's the food rating? Is it good? Oh, hang on, there's a goal. There's a goal. By the way, what's going on? What's going on? Newcastle pen. No, Leeds pen. Newcastle pen. Leeds pen. Leeds United have taken the lead. Big Sam's at it again. Oh my god. <laughs> Crystal Palace, mate, they got nothing to play for, nor have we really. Do you expect a dead rubber today, or do you think they're going to go about it in a fashion whereby we're going to put in a shift today? I mean, there's no reason why we shouldn't, because we've got nothing to lose. Um, and just thinking about it, with the players that Palace have got, like Eze, Elise, Zaha, and the players that we've got, like Vinya, Dango, and all, all of that lot, we know that they're quite expressive players. So there's, there's no reason why it shouldn't be a good game, and there's no reason why we shouldn't attack each other. Because I remember we had a 5-3 against them, that was late on the season, if not last game, where I don't think we had anyone had anything to play for. And if we could replicate something like that today, where it's just a good game of football and a good atmosphere, you know, party atmosphere, then I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy for that. Yeah. How are you, Mark? You right? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. Uh, how are you feeling about today's game, mate? Eh? Are, are you feeling like this is a nothing fixture or not, really? I mean, obviously, given the score at the moment in the Leeds game and the fact Leicester haven't played yet, we still need a point technically. But I think, given the way we played last week, I think it could be entertaining. Palace are scoring goals for fun. We played. I think we played quite well against Chelsea. I think we just can't defend crosses. Um, so yeah, I think it could be entertaining. I'd possibly go score draw if I was. Uh... Well, we can't defend crosses. Uh, did you see their game against West Ham? Nor can yeah. they. Yeah. Set pieces, like, this could be end to end. Yeah, and we're not actually bad at, at scoring from set pieces or creating from set pieces because we still work on them. So, you know, it could be like four all, four headers. I don't know. Vigne to get a hat trick, I reckon, today. He's, he scored, when he starts, he scores. So I can see that happening, you know. Uh, Dawson's got the gammon. I'll tell you what. That's a hell of a meal, Neil. I'm going to take it back and say, excuse me, I wanted the big gammon. <laughs> There we go. We got we got the um, Leeds Newcastle. Honestly, it's, it's so funny how football could change so quickly. Leeds look like they're going two 0 up. Just seeing that they missed it, and then Callum Wilson. 
platform yeah, skull machine. No, never got the. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's um, good. Game. We are we are relying on other games in some ways, but no, we're, we're but really, mate, let, no. let's just get the job done today, eh? Yeah, absolutely. I think um I think like we said in the preview, I think it should be a quite an open game. Both teams should just kind of go for it, and um yeah, we'll, we'll be absolutely fine. But I think it's more I just would like Leeds to go down and want Eddie to get Champions League, but. Yeah, I think uh, I think Newcastle will kick on now. We're at half time as we record, and it's one one. But um, yeah, I think it'll be a good game. So Mark has got a bet on that involves Isak getting a shot at target, which he hasn't so far. Wilson's taken it. I'm not going to show you Callum's penalty. I'm going to show you the reaction. Here we go. You ready? Yeah! Come on! Is Jeff? Jeff, are you alright? Yeah, very good, thank you. Sohurst Park, have you been before? Yes, I was last here in uh, 1989, I think it was 88, 89, when we played uh, Crystal Palace. And the Crystal Palace team of that era had Mark uh, Bright and Ian Wright wow. playing up front. Oh my goodness. And uh, we won 3 2, Richard's Co Richard Cook scored. It was a fantastic game. Uh, yeah, so very optimistic about my return um, today. Ian Wright, who could have played for Bournemouth. I don't know if you heard that Harry Redknapp story. I do know that Harry Redknapp story, yeah. Uh, Harry turned him down because he, he was unproven at the time. Yeah, he so. chose Carl Richards. Carl Richards, who yeah. was decent. Louis here, hello mate, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? Hey, yeah, good, thank you. How are you feeling about today's game, mate? A little more relaxed yeah. than I was in the last away game. It's, it's feeling a bit like, not quite on the beach, but it's looking good. It's definitely looking much better. I mean, you, you, Palace, they're a side, like, I don't really know what their ceiling is as a, as a club because, they're, you know, they're not pushing for Europe at the moment. They're just like the archetypal mid-table club. Do you, I suppose that's what we want to be, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it would be brilliant if we were a club like that, but right now, that is probably the aim, yeah. What's your prediction for the uh, for this one there, mate? What are you going for? I, I think we'll concede. I, I, I think it'll be 2-1 Bournemouth, I think. Love it. Who says 2-1? I, I, I sort of feel it is a bit of a, you know, an on-the-beach sort of game, but I'm hoping that we, we turn up. A 1-1 one, one draw, 2-2 two, two draw would be lovely. And, yeah, just looking forward to being entertained for a bit, really. Oh, wow. Leeds. Let's call it again. Wow. Richard Jackson's here. Richard, Hi, you Sam. Right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank um, you. We've just seen uh, Leeds equalise against Newcastle. Are you more annoyed for the Bournemouth or also like a little bit of me personally like I really want Eddie to secure Champions League for Newcastle oh definitely yes yeah I mean obviously there's still the nagging doubt that we need that extra point or we need what Leicester or Leeds to drop a point but uh, yeah it's more annoying for Newcastle really I suppose well we've got Joseph here Palace fan how are you mate you right? good thank you how are you feeling about the game today mate are you feeling confident because you've been doing alright recently haven't yeah, you yeah fairly confident I think we, 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 it's a game that we could, we could win is the future Royal Hodgson or do you think there's going to be a change at the end of the season for you guys? I don't know if he'll want to stay or not considering <laughs> how, how old he is or anything yeah. but I don't know if he will but I'd, I'd be happy with him with him staying. Um, what's your thoughts about the game today mate? I mean like you're safe you're on the beach we we nearly can be so we're hoping to relax during today's game but like what are you hoping for? Obviously three points, but yeah. just a decent performance for you guys. Yeah, I, th I think it'll be a close, a close game, and uh, I, I, I don't know, but I, I think we uh, we could get the three points, but it's not not going to be an easy game. All right, mate. What's your prediction? I got two one Palace. I knew you would say that. James is going two one. What are your thoughts about the game today, mate? What's your what's your prediction? Uh, what should be a. A festival in the sunshine, basically, in the south, south East London sunshine. Uh, should be a good game. All right, so we've got Will here. Will, how you doing, mate? You right? Yeah, very good yourself. Sporting your Crystal Palace colours. Yes, I love that from always. you. Um, <laughs> talk about your season, mate, because it didn't, it didn't start overly well, did it? But it's fair to say the last month has been 
a turning point. <laughs> yes, definitely. Hodgson's come back in and um, rejuvenated <laughs> the yeah. club for sure. Yeah, I think um, Vieira maybe ran out of ideas a little bit. And, what's the future? Uh, like, what's the future for your guys though? Because it's not going to be Roy Hodgson for the next three years, three year contract. Like, surely you need a, a plan and a project. And I, <laughs> and I thought that's what Vieira was for you. Yeah, no, it, it seemed like that was the answer was Vieira, but. Um, Hodgson's the messiah, I'm telling you. He's, yeah. he's come back and he's you know got the players organised and, and playing how we want them to. But Palace having a plan, that's a good plan. Palace having a plan is, <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. But, um, but yeah, no, I'm not sure. I don't know who. I mean, you look at the managers that are on the market, I suppose, at the minute. Yeah. Not many. It makes me uh, ashamed to say but Potter is maybe the only one that I'd maybe want. Ex Brighton, though, I don't know. It's hard for me to say, yeah, no, but I'd, I'd, agree with you. I'd say he's probably the um, the ideal candidate that's on the market. But so we'll see your, what happens. What's your, so, like, you're on the beach. We we need a point. What, what's, your, what's your prediction today, mate? High scoring. I think it'll be uh, a high scoring draw. Two all, maybe. Three two Palace. I don't know if it's not boring. Yeah. Will's going for three two Palace. Yeah, he, he's never coming that. on the channel again. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Will. The Love that from Love you. The <laughs>
the dark. Yeah, because you know what they did? Yeah. Wouldn't even look at me ID. Well, what's your score prediction, mate? We're going to win four fucking nil. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Nil. Oh, yeah. Four nil. What are you going for? What are you going for, mate? I was saying 2 1 earlier. Not going to lie, I'm saying 2 all now. I'm not as confident. I don't know why. I'm just not as confident. I'm saying 2 all. 4 1 ball with. Hang on, I'll let you into a little secret. I'm a little bit drunk. I'm a little bit drunk. What are you going for? 2 1. Big up my mum as Championship on a beer in that number. Oh, and the Saints go championship. Oh, ball. We've got a corner, early doors. Tom's heading it in the net already. Uh oh. No, go kick, go kick. Have a day off. Have a day off, Wilf. Nil, mate, half time. Yep. Um, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was thrilling. thrilling I game. thought it was a qu quite a poor half, Sorry, but man. you know what? It was a you know, typical kind of call that we conceded where it, like, it goes to the byline. Ball. Oh, you didn't see it, did you? Nope, talk me for it. Uh, I heard it was a bit of a cutback. Yeah, it was a yeah, cutback. Standard. But how many goals do we seem to con concede like that? Quite a few. Yeah, it's either that or a set piece, isn't it? Um, I don't know. It's, I thought Mepham was doing okay, but I think you have a player at right back that's not a natural right back. You're going to cause a few problems. I can see where they've done it, trying to uh, nullify Zaha a little bit. But um, I, I don't know. I thought we started slightly better. And then they ended the half slightly bad, but they took their chance. I think they got their three players in behind Ayu, uh, Elise, Eze and Zaha, who's caused problems. We've talked about this guy before, the better looking Jordan. We saw you briefly earlier, mate, you right? Yeah, very well. Um, every time I see you in London, uh, we have right. mixed. We have a mixed bag. Uh, we, I mean, you know, we did well at QPR. Didn't do so Chris, well at, like... A few like, months ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, that was... Bit a bit of a bad spell at the moment, aren't we? Um, um, crap off. Yeah, crap off. I mean, I like to think that we've got nothing to lose, so we're going to throw the... Sink at it almost, and we're going to go for it. I don't know. Fill my nick a point here. Billy Day. Oh, how are you doing? You're right. You Thanks. just um, off camera. You just said, "Oh, awful. Didn't enjoy it." Dull, dull. Like, yeah. I, I, I would have thought that we would have had, we would have uh, given a bit of more fight. Considering Palace have got nothing to play for, they're just coming at us and thought we, they'll just dominate. But I thought defensively we're not too bad. But the thing is though, we're not get. We need to. Uh, Stopping Elise's crosses. He's going in on his left foot. The players know that he's going to go on his left foot because his right, right foot's useless. And Vic Veen is just not, not, not took him on. So something's got to change. I don't know what. I don't even know what the formation is. No. Honestly, just players scrambled anywhere. I don't know. Maybe maybe mix some things up, put an actual right back on, let's have a bit of a go. It's not over, mate, but I think we'll nick a point. We'll nick a point. Uh, by the way, Lerma. Learn what I hit the face. I want to make sure he's right. Ryan Frank texted me that. Look, check out his text. Yeah, look, look. Uh, so, yeah. I just, like, as long as he's okay. I think he's okay. Is he okay? One more year. Three more years. Look, if, if we we're going to get anything from this, we, we need to uh, attack more. Because that's the only way we're going to try and stop them from scoring is to attack. Um, what's your thoughts on the concourse, mate? Being able to be outside? Yeah, all right. Nice. Tommy's Tom living the dream. He's having a cigarette, so he's absolutely loving life. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's alright. Right. It's enough space, isn't it? It's not like we're rammed and no, no. squashed in. Um, oh, we, right. Yeah, we just want a better second half, don't we? Some I entertainment. Want, I just want to see a goal, mate. I haven't seen a goal in fucking <laughs> ages. Right. Let's go out and see if we can enjoy a second half, can we, mate? Let's go. Hopefully, mate. Yeah, let's uh, let's have it. Oh my. Cool, oh, that's cool. And then it 
was two and a fucking hell of a strike. What a strike that was. Cutting from the right, top right hand corner. Oh man, oh man. A lot of um, frustrated Bournemouth fans there after having a good chance with the corner ourselves. No words, no words. Steve is doing some bet builders with the stewards. That wasn't great at all. Really wasn't good. 2 0 Palace. I'll tell you what, it's been a quite a dull vlog. I apologise, but I can only work with what I'm given. Uh, I thought it was a turgid game, really, in the end. It could have been a League One fixture. It really could have. I just thought there was a... Look, I'm not criticising anyone. We're on the beach as fans. We're probably on the beach a little bit. I just, you know, we tried to get behind him as much as we could. Yeah, we did, Steve. But, um, yeah, look, I just... Sadly, it was just one of them, wasn't it? Um, Regardless, an enjoyable day, that's why we go. It's just time to go home and um, not watch match of the day. Oh, what a day, what a day. Back home and uh, still light outside, back by nine o'clock, which is pretty good, especially after doing fan cams. And then we had a, had a drink at the pub, Lucy drove back, and uh, here we are after a day that wasn't particularly great, really. You know, love the pub, love seeing friends and chatting ACB with most of them but then as soon as the game began it was pretty woeful the whole experience actually was pretty poor the away day review of this might be might be quite tasty because for some it's one of the worst away grounds to visit either way um look Palace absolutely deserved it I just thought they were on top of on top of all of us really there wasn't a, a a uh, player for Bournemouth that really emerged with that much credit. Lloyd Kelly did all right. Um, other than that, I'm struggling to sort of pick out a name, but I thought Elise, um, Eze, I mean, Zaha was always a menace. And just, they played like a team that wasn't on the beach. And credit for Roy Hodgson for turning that team around, really, after they were having a series of bad results. So I do feel for Patrick Vieira in some ways, but Roy Hodgson came along and a man who knows the club, knows the club well, and he's got them safe. And yes, Southampton are relegated. We can cheer and party as much as we want about that but I'm really concerned about uh, some of the elements of that performance today but hey ho we're Premier League next season and that's the end of another turgid match day vlog hopefully better for Man United next week if you uh, want to subscribe and like we'd really appreciate it but until the next one cheers